morning, Christian Brothers. I'm Brittany Young. And I'm Colin Rooney. Brittany and I are excited to be back in the anchor chair doing another show. We're sure you all enjoyed your three-day weekend, and thank you to those of you who helped out at, at Open House on Sunday. Mike LaRosa has a look back on Sunday's Open House with a peek of who could be the future class of 2013. How's it going, CB? I'm Mike LaRosa. We just wrapped up Open House 2008, and I went to talk to a bunch of the faculty about how they went. I thought it went quite well. We've always had a challenge of trying to get the guests throughout the campus to experience what the students experience. And the serpentine fashion that we did it this year, I think, worked well because it allowed people to go from one end of the campus to the other end and experience the breadth of what we have to offer as well as the depth, Michael. This is the fifth year that we've merged uh, the, the Art Expo with Open House and allowed people to come in and see what amazing artists we have on campus and musicians and actors and actresses. Man, if you come here today and you don't just get jazzed about coming to Christian Brothers, I, I don't know what we can possibly do because it's an amazing day. Um, I couldn't be more proud of our students and the school just in general. It was a great, great day. We got a lot of great signatures from four or five pages filled. We tried to bribe them with shirts and memorabilia, and we got a lot of talented kids coming in. You know, a lot of sign-ups, and we're very excited about the years to come, building on a great program. It's just generally a day in which we highlight all of our many qualities, and we're always happy to see the crowds that we have here. I think it went well today. I enjoyed the aspect of having the uh, sports over near the new gym, and that was really nice. So what were some of the more exciting things you saw today? Um, probably science and math. Yeah. <laughs> what about KBFT? Yeah, it's, it looks really fun to try it out. Well, as you can see, Open House 2008 was a smashing success. This has been Mike Rose reporting for KBFT, Sacramento. Can you believe that it's already time for midterms? Seems like this year is just flying by. It really does. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We have a few tests to prepare for. Today's are the English and Science midterms, followed by Foreign Language and Social Studies tomorrow. On Thursday, we'll have Math and Religious Studies, and on Friday, we'll wrap up the week with PE and Fine Arts. This year's, this year's BuzzBooked Family Directory is now available. Stop by and pick up your free copy, available in the main office. The bookstore has a few goodies left over from Holy Bowl. Souvenir t-shirts are $8, and Holy Bowl programs are only $1. But the bookstore will be selling them until they run out, so get there while they last. If you're holding on to a detention slip, listen up. After-school detention will be postponed until this Thursday, October 9th. However, lunch detention will remain the same, so don't forget to check in with the teacher in the cafeteria. Fall weather feels like it's finally here. Remember that just because it's getting colder outside doesn't mean we can forget about CB dress code. CB jackets and CB sweatshirts, along with college sweatshirts, are also allowed. Also, the weather, as the weather gets a little worse, non-CB raincoats are permitted. Congratulations to Jasmine Santa Cruz, who will be dancing at the Mondavi Center this Sunday at 3 p.m. If you are interested and want to show your support for Jasmine, get your tickets at the website below. A reminder to everyone in the Aces Card Club, you will be taking your yearbook picture this Thursday, October 9th. QSP money applications are due October 9th. They are available in the main office, the SAC, room 106, and the Dean's office. Also available in the Dean's office are homecoming guest passes. The dance is rapidly approaching, so make sure you have your passes fully completed no later than October 28th. Big Brothers is going to start meeting with their Oak Ridge buddies very soon. There's a mandatory Big Brothers meeting this Thursday in room 604 from 3 to 345. If you don't show up, you'll be dropped from the club. Students who are competing that day need to notify Ms. Moulton to be excused.
Senior core team, you have a meeting today at lunch in the Christian Service Center. Attention students who are interested in applying for Vanivere Salinas. Applications are due this Thursday, October 9th. Stop by the Christian Service Center for an application. If you have any questions, make sure to see Mrs. Benedetti Emanuel. If you enjoy working with kids and are thinking of pursuing a teaching career, Summer Bridge is the place for you. Summer Bridge is a summer program that is designed and run by high school and college students for middle school students. Our very own CB alumni, Adelfo Mercado, will be on campus October 16th during Falcon Flex in room 403. This program is open to all students, and if you are interested, please see Ms. Benedetti Emanuel. The winds are blowing, the leaves are falling, so it must be time to start making decisions about college. Lucky for you, there's quite a few college fairs and preview days coming up. St. Mary's College is having a preview day this Saturday, October 11th. Registration begins at 9, and you can go to the website below for more details. The University of Pacific is also having a preview day this Saturday. However, if you can't make it to that one, there's another preview day on November 15th. Visit the website below for more information. Next Monday, the 13th, the Sacramento Area Parochial and high school, Private High School College Fair will be held at Jesuit. CB's time slot is from 8 to 9 p.m. Also on Thursday, October 16th, the introduction to Columbia will be at St. Ignatius Preparatory in San Francisco. Go online to register. It seems like the fall winds have blown a few college reps our way. Today, CB, CSUS will be here at 9 and Washington University, St. Louis, will be here at 2. Then, tomorrow, the University of Notre Dame will be here at 1.30. To wrap up this week, Emory University will be visiting on Friday at 1.15. Be sure to stop by Brother Edward Hall to pick up your yellow slip to have it signed by your teachers. Good morning, CB. I'm John Wong, and welcome to KBFT Sports. Last Friday, our volleyball team faced rivals Oak Ridge here at CB. Zach Lehman went to report more. Hey, Christian Brothers fans. I'm Zach Lehman here at the women's varsity volleyball game. They're about to get underway against Oak Ridge, their rivals. Now let's see how they do. Starting on. Saturday, our football team smacked on Union Mine, ending with an easy win of 41-0. CB ended up with six touchdowns with two scored by Marcus and Daniel and single scores by Asante Cleveland, Michael Leahy, Nico Molina, and Josh Tucker. Men's water polo had a busy weekend at Wood Creek Tournament, playing five matches and emerging with three victories. Today, both men's and women's water polo teams face Cordova and volleyball travels out to Galt. That's all for sports. That wraps up this show for today, CB, and let me tell you, boy, does it feel good to be back. For Brittany Young, I'm Colin Rooney. Have a terrifically tubular Tuesday, CB.